let's move the overall learning which we had done in the previous module a bit further so here we are being using some of the HTML files and uh, a dot py file which we had uh, linked together and now all a thing is being displaying towards a thing where we can say that the all the things are being mapped with each other so what does it mean that we are going forward with the full on application development so what does it mean that when we I am passing some HTML credentials towards one file it would be those credentials those values will be reflected in the second file and all those things are being binded in here here so here what does this mean so we had initialize a student example here where we will be posting some of the records or numbers scores of the students and then we will be showing those records in the another page so let's move forward the form data received by the triggered function can collect in the form of a dictionary object and forward it to a template and render it to corresponding web page so what does it mean that here we know that the the data communication between the web pages is being done in a form of dictionary which is being called as JSON key value pair and this key value pair is being forwarded towards the template the HTML template and now it will decode that template and then it will show the required result in a much fruitful fruitful way so in this all example we will be going towards the URL we will be inserting some of the values in that name the numbers of physics chemistry and so on and so forth and now then those values will be encrypted or we can say that the those values can be transformed in a JSON object or a key value pair object and then it will be going towards the another page which is called result.html and it will show that input towards us so here this is the overall understanding so we had uh, created some of the files for you so that let's go towards this so we have sending form data dot py so we have this and it will render template student dot html and when we go towards the student dot html it will take the name of the student for example physics chemistry maths marks of those uh, subjects and then it will uh, we will be hitting the submit button once the submit button will be and uh, um, uh, will be done then it will go towards this and then it will uh, go toward the app dot route dot result it will automatically go on toward the result page and it the result dot HTML will will load and all those values the key value pair will be transmitted in that so here what does it mean that for result dot items so we have and then what is the key to so first name uh, key has one key the chemistry has second key physics has third key and all those values are being listed in a table format so let's go towards this and uh, open this for our own sake so going toward this uh, command prompt and let me close this session CLS and now Python sending data form sending form data dot py the server is being running we will be going towards that and let's copy this uh, sending form data example here and let's go towards this okay so here we have localhost 5000 this is the thing and now we have all those things are being added here let's go towards Omer the name is Omer okay physics marks are 50 um, we have chemistry we have math at 70 and now 50 60 70 are being printed so here physics mark 50 chemistry 60 and mathematics 70 so here you can know that that all those things all those things are being configured together and all uh, the, the two HTML files are being running parallelly are being in a support of uh, one another and it provides the list of it takes the list of numbers and the name of the student and passes towards the another result of HTML or the another HTML page where all those results are being kept forward and are being displayed so here we can add some of the CSS and the JavaScript here so that the beautification of that overall result of HTML page can be fruitful so this is the uh, introduction about the the sending form data
is let's move towards the another uh, uh, topic of this module is that the session so what does the session mean so it is a time interval and when a client logins into a server and logs out of it so for example when i am logging into a flip.ai website for example uh, so a session will be created for me and all those things will be created within the session and when i logged out the session will be ended so in many websites you saw that that if i had performed anything and i had kept that session alive okay so uh, the the overall scenario is that that it will ask that that your session will be ended in few minutes please uh, do the following work or please do your work okay or please uh, leave the session so that the other they can the server can serve the other users also okay so this is the concept of the session so in this flask we can also create some session and here we had created some of the session to showcase all of the knowledge so data which is needed to be held across the session is stored in the client browser so what the, uh, every session has uh, some unique id and all those data is being kept saved or stored saved in the client browser the session with each client id is assigned with a session id and on the top of it, these, these are being set with a in the cookies and the server sign them crypto graphically for this encryption a flash application needs a defined secret key associated with uh, values for example to set a username session variable user statement session username is also admin so what does it mean that when uh, admin is being clicked a uh, admin user session is being uh, created and to release a session variable we use a pop method session dot pop and then uh, when we pass that username the the session the 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 overall details will be flushed out from that uh, from that website and that session or another session will be provided to another user so let's move towards the quick implementation of uh, a code we had used so we have session py we have a app dot secret key this is something which we had coded hard coded it and now we have app dot route session example we have login and then we have logout so what does it mean so for example let's go towards the logging first so when i go towards the login web page it will go towards get post methods and when it is said that this post it will request dot form whichever username is been coming from form which we had created is being set uh, set towards the session username so for example if i am sending web hub, so session web hub is being or session uh, has a, a, a session has a key called username and its value is will be web hub. so a web hub session for web hub will be uh, executed a session for umair will be executed a session will of for of sara of sidra will be executed here so here this these are the things or a uh, session for lakshmi will be executed and now when the request dot uh, the session is being so the session has saved the value and now we have returned redirect url for index so now it will go towards the index function here all those things are being done here and now it will say that if username is in session we have so please take this username session username is username and let logged in as username so for example it will say logged in as web hub and then it will give us the link that please uh, click this to log out and so on so when the log out will they will be created will be uh, will be published so here it will go towards the log out page and here we have logout page and when the logout page will be in uh, clicked it will say that session dot pop and username will be deleted from the cache so let's move towards this and let's implement this in a uh, very much forward way so we have session dot py python session dot py we have started the server and then we are going towards the logging page let's go towards and have lakshmi here lakshmi okay so let's have this login logged in as lakshmi now let's click here to log out so it will log out to me so you are not logged in so the message will be printed and click here to log in it will say give me the login again so for example let's have this admin as login or let's have uh, redmi 98 dot uh, login for example 9a user okay so let's have this and login as redmi 9a user click here to log out and so on so, for, so with the help of flask we can create some of the session in this and uh, with the uh, with overall scenarios we can redirect from one page to another page and so on so, for, so please go through this implement this so that you can have a better understanding in a all-round way